Welcome, Victory family, and I hope that you would take a minute to worship with us this morning. And I'm just going to pray before we get started, but um, if you just pray with me this morning, God, I thank you for bringing us here and that you would just begin to anoint this worship service and have whatever you you want to do through through this morning that you would just go into everybody's homes and you would begin to just do a work through every song that we sing. In Jesus' name I pray. A sacrifice of praise A city on a hill Surrender to your will Your glory on display Your glory on display Cause you are awesome in this place Oh Jesus, you are awesome in this place Oh, you are worthy to be praised Oh Jesus, you are worthy It's uncontainable You're coming like a flood Our hearts are filling up All things are possible All things are possible Cause you are awesome in this place Oh Jesus, you are awesome in this place And you are worthy to be praised Oh Jesus, you are worthy Thanks, but 
never lost a battle Everything's possible by the power of your Holy Ghost A new wind is blowing right now Breaking my heart of stone, taking over like it's Jericho song has a very special place in my worship um, because it talks about taking you to a place where peace never fails to be there and that's a big thing in my life at the moment is finding where I can not have any worry and simply just have peace in my life so in this next song no matter where you are I hope that peace fills your home as it does through me when I sing it place where your peace and your love overflows where my heart is set free from all shame and guilt chains are run take me there oh take me there Your peace and your 
Take me to the place where your peace and your love overflow. Amen. Sing that again. Oh, take me to the place where your peace and your love overflow. Set free from all shame and guilt, chains are undone. Take me there. Oh, take me there. Take me there. Oh, take me there. Welcome. We're so glad to be with you this morning, worshiping in your homes. That worship was just amazing, and God is faithful. We just want to speak to you just a few minutes about what the Lord has put on our hearts to bring you peace. So we love you. Please share this video, and let's spread peace all over this land. Yeah, as we were worshiping, you know, that was my daughter singing there, and so I'm still a little touched by that. Take me there, she said. Take me to that place of peace. You know, we live in a time right now that people are scared. There's, um, there's a lot of things going on. I mean, we've got kids at home. We're quarantined. Just everything is being made new, uh, and not necessarily in a bad way. It's in a good way. Yeah. You know, this is a reset time. I got four quick scriptures I want to share with you this morning. The first one is found in John 14, 27. It says, peace I leave with you. This is Jesus speaking. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, when, as a dad, when I tell my kids, do not do this or do not do that. Don't touch the hot stove, right? Uh, don't walk behind the car when someone's getting ready to pull out. Whatever the do not is, I want them to hear me. I want them to listen. Why? Because I mean what I say. And I'm thinking Jesus just absolutely means what he says. He says, do not be afraid. Why? Because he gives us a peace, a peace that passes all of our understanding. Amen. The second message is out of Colossians 3.15. Friends, we're called to a place of peace. It says here, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace. And then I love how it ends, and be thankful. Yeah. Kind of throws that in for good measure. That's good. Called to peace. We're not just hoping for peace. We're not just, uh, well, it'd be a good idea to have peace. We are literally, as the body of Christ, we are called 
to a place of peace. And I just, I believe that if God calls us to that place, He'll provide that. In fact, He already told us He gave us His peace. It's the direction in the road. We can choose to be not at rest or to be at rest. And we just have to choose to keep our mind on things above so that that peace will rule and reign. That's good scripture. Do we really know that the Lord our God is with us? You know, we've heard scriptures that say he's promised never to leave us nor forsake us. That's truth. But listen to what it says in Psalms 46, 11. The Lord Almighty is with you. The God of Jacob, he is our fortress. If God Almighty is with us, guys, we got to think about that for a second. Who is this Lord of glory? Who is this mighty God that we speak of? He's the same one that shut the mouths of the lion when Daniel was in the lion's den. He was the same one that, that quenched the fiery furnace, mm-hmm. you know, from Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They came out un, unscathed by the fire whatsoever. Yes. The children of Israel, they crossed through on dry land. Guys, this God that did all the miracles that we read about in the Bible, who's still the miracle worker today, he is with you. That's right. Friends, that's good news. And then lastly, I have here, be strong. You know, now more than ever, we need to be strong in our faith. We need to be strong in the power of his might. You know, there is a battle at hand. But can I remind you that we as believers in Christ, we have authority. We have been given the word of God. We have been given his name that is above every name. The enemy, and we can call that enemy, Mm -hmm. you know, the coronavirus. We can call that enemy fear. Whatever the giant is in your life, can I encourage you this morning that not only has God given us peace, we're called to peace. God himself says, listen, I am with you. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. He tells us to be strong. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Guys, I want you to be a man and woman of God that is courageous. I want the children of our homes to be courageous and bold and standing firm in their faith. We have been given the victory. We have victory through Jesus, our Christ, our Messiah. There's nothing that can come against the children of the living God. Though weapons may form, they will not what? They will not, they will not prosper. Yeah. They won't conquer us. In the time of darkness, we need to be the light. And Pastor Jason and myself here at Victory Family Church, we want to encourage you. Let's show honor to the people that are in authority over us. They've asked us to stay in. And that does not stop our light from shining. As a matter of fact, it helps us to see better days. It's love thy neighbor even as thyself. So we're encouraged by that. These are refrigerator uh, scriptures right here. I'm going to say them again that Pastor Jason said. John 14, 27. Colossians 3, 15. Psalm 46, 11. And 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Let me share with you what you have done for the city, Victory Family Church. Monday, we're collaborating with Jimmy John's, and we're feeding foster care families. That's happening this Monday because of your kindness, your prayers. We're being light in this city. A second thing that's going on, these are called hope boxes. And because of you and your generous donations, we've been able to fill a hundred of these boxes and drop them all around the city at various places, residents. And I know one of these have gone into Southeast Medical Center. It's full of prayers. That particular box had anointing oil. And I know the person who got that box was going to go in and pray with the authority of Jesus. The authority he gave us to heal the sick. To bring hope in dark places. That's right. You know, and that's what it's about. We are so excited for this opportunity to worship with you this morning. We have one more worship song, but also at this time, we want to take up our tithes and our offerings. So, Yeah, you know, in times like this where giving may be 
perceived as tough. I think it's just a great opportunity to give back unto the Lord and His work. You know, the tithe is already His anyway. I was told, you know, taught a long time ago, you know, that that 10%, it's already His. Just give back to God what's already His. But the offering, the mm-hmm. offering uh, helps us do things like you and I did this morning. We sat down and wrote checks to, to the all the missionaries. I mean, we had resources <laughs> going to Israel and resources going to the Philippines, resources going to Mexico, resources going to evangelists right here in America. Guys, we have the opportunity to partner together to do so much more. Yeah. I don't believe this is our darkest hour. I believe this is our brightest and finest hour. Amen. Will you join with us at Victory Family Church in being the light? We can do that through our tithes and offerings. You'll see something on your screen as far as where you can send it. We have ways to give it online. All that should show up on your screen right there. And we want to encourage you to pray about partnering with Victory Family Church, not only with your tithes, but also with your offerings. Please go to our website, I love my victory.com. So stay right here. Our last worship song is coming. Let's lift up Jesus. Amen. So what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name.
thank you this morning for just bringing us to this point of worship or we could just sit in your presence and be able to fully connect with you once again. And I ask that you would just bless everyone in their homes this morning and that there would just be a peace that overflows each and every person watching this, that you would just begin to give people hope and a peace that overwhelms everything else. In Jesus' name. 